today I want to continue with more Coffee Talk 2 Hibiscus and Butterfly. Um, last time where we left off was this one. Oh, I remembered wrong. I thought we left off with this, but we left off with here. Oh, right. No, I remember now. We made a thing for Gala. I remember. I remember. <laughs> Memory's not good. All right. <clears throat> Open for business. Saturday, September 23rd, 2023. Maybe I can move myself here a little bit to the side here. I think that's good. Perfect. Oh, right. We did read this um, part a little bit. Petition to combine Halloween and Xmas gains traction. Why? Tactical survival game. Krieg's Front 4. Final Front. Set to release next year. And Belltown Man caught after attempting to outrun police with the Segway. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, right, we were starting with this. Oh, no. But before that, let's see what we've got here. Um, so it looks like Hyde will be visiting us today, which is awesome. It's been a while. Uh, let's look at the story starting from the bottom. So Georgie says, So I was in a vegan restaurant and a woman said that she knew me, which is weird because I've never met her before. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, Georgie. <laughs> Lucas says, I feel like this is finally the right time in my career to either write a book or challenge a professional boxer, so... Oh, don't do that. Mr. Malloy Fayweather. I'm Lloyd Fayweather. What am I talking about? Okay. Are you available like this Sunday? I don't know who that is. Myrtle says, currently hooked on this mecha tactic game. The mechanic is very interesting and inspiring. Cool. And then Rachel. Cute. I like the artwork for this. I'm so excited for this secret project. You'll see. Oh, so cute. Exciting. All right, here we go. Oh, no. Seems like we're out of ginger. Oh no! We can't make ginger. Wait, Gala's drink needs ginger, right? So hopefully Gala isn't here today because I can't make his thing. Gala had, I think. Yeah. We'll see. Uh. Hello? Hide! <clears throat> it's been a while. Mr. Hyde, welcome! It's nice to see you again. How are you? Uh, well, I'm just here. How about you? Oh, he's so cool. You seem a little preoccupied. Uh, right, sorry about that. I just learned we're out of ginger. Oh? I made a mistake on the weekly order sheet. And the remaining roots I have are no longer fit for consumption. Oh, that's no good. Oh no! Mistakes happen, it's okay. It's okay. Tut tut! Sounds like a rookie mistake. <laughs> I know, I'm ashamed. <laughs> Our storage system is having problems because of recent power surges. Right, we've had power outages a few times in the last few days. Alas, I'll stock up at the farmer's market tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. You're really busy as usual, I see. Wow, sarcasm. Thank you. Yes, well, nothing wrong with a slow day or two from time to time. Although it's been quite a week, if I may say so myself. It has been very... eventful. We have to protect an alien family. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. Well, I'm listening. Um, pardon? You're weak. Tell me all about it. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm not even sure where to start. 
anywhere. Most people say try it start from the beginning, but I like this answer too. Try anywhere. After all, there's no way for me to correct an unheard story, am I right? Right. Well, oh, there's the, there's the lightning. Well, the most notable problem recently would be the, these severe thunderstorms and the thunder. The noise is the thunder, the light is the lightning. Sometimes they cause our power to short out, which messes with the machines. So, in case it happens again, my apologies. I see. Warning duly noted. There has also been this ongoing car vandalism in the neighborhood. Apparently, there's a serial deflator of tires on the loose. Officer Georgie was the one who informed me about it. Officer Georgie is a victim and so is Riona, which sucks because her job requires her car and someone just came into the store. We've also got a lot of new customers. And I think that's about it. Sounds eventful, even if not terribly riveting. Now, regarding the car vandalism you spoke about... Wait, someone just came in though. Well, I drove here. To what extent should I be concerned about it? Oh... Uh, slash tires? I wish I could inform you with confidence. Unfortunately, I don't know much about it, so... Wait, is it the cat? Oh, Georgie! Okay, Baileys, I don't understand that. Sorry. Georgie! Welcome in. I have something to return to you. <clears throat> There's nothing to worry about. Your car's gonna be fine. Officer Georgie, welcome. Uh, I love your face. I managed to track and narrow down the Vandal strike zone, you see. Because the culprit seems to have a favorite spot. Oh. So it's only a specific area. If she comes back, can you ask her where she parked? Will do. Appreciate it. Anyway, my investigation's still going on, but I'd say this area is pretty safe. That's good to know. That's really good. I mean, Hyde is probably rich as fuck, but still. Good evening, y'all. Good evening, Georgie. Sorry for blocking off, blocking the entryway earlier. I was finishing off my last cigarette. It's fine. We're not getting anyone new right now. Finishing off, yet you're smoking inside here too, but whatever. It's time to start a new one. Not at all. <clears throat> Voice. Mr. Hyde, meet Officer Georgie. Oh, they never met. Okay. He's in charge of the night paroles around here. Or patrols around here. Paroles, what am I talking about? Cheers. Officer Georgie, meet Mr. Hyde. Our occasional guest from Los Angeles. A friend of Mr. Gala. Yeah. The big werewolf hospital guy. Our fluffy friend. A Los Angeleno. <laughs> Not for much longer, though. Oh, really? I'm in the process of finalizing my move back here with my modeling agency. <gasps> That's wonderful news! That's cool! Now we get to see you more often. You have a pointy finger. <laughs> for about 40 years. When did you move to LA, then? Around... 20 years ago. Right. Huh. He's a vampire, it's okay. He's probably older than you, Georgie. <clears throat> Let's just say I'm nowhere near as young as I look. Ooh. <laughs> His expressions are the best, too. <laughs> Models, vampires. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, I love the interactions in this game. They're so nice. I'll let you be the judge of that. Thanks for the warm welcome. 
Then, have you moved in already, or... Yeah, no, that shit takes time, I'm guessing. Preparations still need to be made at the property I've chosen. I wouldn't even think of packing until it's halfway done. That's smart. That's fair. Makes sense. That being said, I'll be here to oversee the construction for a while. Oh, you're building your own place. Georgie, you're so nice. Although it won't be necessary, I appreciate the gesture. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, what is? Quite frankly, the police force and I had something of a... Contentious relationship in the past. Uh oh. Was it a slap on the wrist and let's call it a day type of thing? Or the catch you, catch me kind? <laughs> All I can say is live long enough, you'll try everything. <laughs> I guess you do get bored eventually if you live for a really long time. Those are bygone years, of course. Are you sure? <laughs> he, even if it wasn't, he's not like he's gonna admit it. <laughs> Cute. So, does anyone want something to drink? Of course, naturally. Yes, yes. Who would like to order first? After you. Well, a public servant should, but the citizens first. Oh my god, are you guys seriously gonna be like this? So Oh my god, someone please just order. Okay, Georgie. Cool. Also, what's this? You found that on Rumbler, didn't you? <laughs> oh, Lua, you're great. Alright, what will it be, officer? Just give me something nice. Are you alright? Just something nice? That's not very... That doesn't really tell me anything though, Georgie. I need more information than that. Something nice. Are you alright? <sighs> not that great, honestly. Oh no! What happened? Did you by any chance see a lighter? <gasps> yes! I'm gonna give that back to you! Oh! Yes, I did! I have it with me! <sighs> That's a relief. Okay, Yuri, listen carefully. I need you to take this very, very seriously. Uh, okay? Yeah, okay. I know. Oh, it's his lucky lighter! Um, pardon? Just talking to myself. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I understand. Appreciate it. Of course I'd give it back to you. Black coffee more me, but lightly sweetened. So, mostly coffee. But if we want it sweet, we need honey, right? So... So lightly sweetened honey, that's different. Sweet coffee, oh there's a little honeycomb there. Alright, here's your lighter. It exudes an interesting feel. I don't know whose that is. I mean, here you go. <laughs> I mean, you don't really owe me anything. I just gave you what belongs to you. You know? So, whatever. June 1st. Oh, your birthday's coming up. Well, in-game, no, but in real life, yes. I told you before, right? This light is my lucky charm. When it goes missing, my luck gets really dicey. Almost got hit by a falling fan. Fa fa Whoa, what?
Oh, yeah, no, take that lighter back. Holy shit. <laughs> Poor Georgie. Oh, right. He was having issues with his kid. I forgot. Ooh, what a week. Of course, of course. Thanks for keeping it safe for me. Yeah, no, of course. You're very welcome. Here's your sweet coffee to sweeten your evening, officer. Cheers. <laughs> oh, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Alright, what about you, Hyde? Are you ready to make your order? Not quite, got it, okay. A suggestion? I don't know. We have a couple of new teas if you're interested. Yes, we have... Okay, they're butterfly pea and hibiscus flowers. Hibiscus. Oh, so he's gonna go for the pink one. Hibiscus is pretty good. Um, I've only tried it once. Not in a tea, but it was like a... It was like a... What was it? It was like a... A soda, maybe? Or like a sparkling drink? I don't remember. Not an ingredient that's easily palatable when used in a hot beverage. Perfect. Make me something with it. Um, are you sure? We are missing some ingredients tonight. Do you have any specifics in mind? Red and who knows. Oh. <laughs> it's a fake blood cocktail I used to get here when it was a bar. Right, got it. Ah, oh, I see. Make a bold red drink. I'd like to see what you can come up with. A bold red drink. Okay. So, a hibiscus. Uh... I don't know. Hibiscus. If you want it bold, then not milk. No, no, no. Hold on. Hibiscus. Lemon and mint. I don't know if that'll make anything, but... I mean, it's kind of cute. But I can see that it's not, um... It's not, you know, like a recipe drink, so that sucks. I know we don't have anything to give, but I wonder what I can do with this. Anyway, let's go back. Here you go. Sorry. Failed messenger. What? <sighs> Here you go. So Wait! I was supposed to give him something? Wait, what? what? Wait, no, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm gonna look it up. Cause no.
Wait, no. Hold on. Oh, okay, okay. I got it. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. It was fine. This one. Got it. <laughs> I had a heart attack. Here you go, sir. Something red. I don't know. You wanted something bold. Honestly, I'm not entirely confident, but this is the best I can do tonight. It looks peculiar enough. Mm. How is it? It's tart. Okay. Astringent. Do, um, do you like it? You tell me. Uh, and I was looking forward to it. Oh, I'm sorry that wasn't what you expected. Also, I don't have all the ingredients today, so... Unfortunately... You know... Lucas, what is this? You've ever been jamming on good songs when your earphone died off? Well, I... Well, I've never had that because my ear... <laughs> earphone is amazing. Get yours here. Oh. Associate links. Hey, Juice! Well, now I know it has ginger in it. I mean, it has to, right? Oh, who's here? Welcome! can't tell with the footsteps. Lucas! It's been a while. Lucas? Very good. Lucas? Uh... You- Oh, wow. You okay? Oh, no. Damn. Are you fine? Oh, oh, dang. Hello, Yuri. Pops, nice to see you again. <laughs> oh no, you don't need to you don't need to fake, it's okay. You want a hug? Me? Oh, oh, well, nothing. Nothing much. Y you know what? Let me move over there. Oh. <laughs> Time to get close. Oh, what a merry bunch we got over here. Sorry about earlier. I was... <laughs> preoccupied. No problem. Is everything alright? Oh no, Lucas. No, it's okay to not be alright sometimes. She did come back, Riona, and I gave her the card. I did give her the stuff because I feel like if I gave her the fidget spinner that would have been a bad idea. <laughs> well, alright, here we go. Okay, okay, cool. She didn't throw it away, did she? No, that's a new expression I feel like. Oh wait, no it's not. It's not, never mind. He does this when it's dark. As far as I know, I don't think so. Great! <laughs> I still feel uneasy about how that day went. So, I just want to apologize to her or something, you know? Alright, okay. So, I guess I just have to wait for her to contact me, huh? Uh, probably. You can't force this stuff. It's all in her hands now. Leave her alone? Ex Good job, Georgie. Exactly. You're so right, Pops. Didn't think you think of you as someone who'd have trouble reaching out to people like this. <sighs> you never know, Georgie. It is what it is. Alright, what would you like to order, though? Hmm? 
any hoodle <laughs> Oh right, they met. It was the first day of the this game. Hello to you too, uh, sir. Hide. Hide. It's hide. Lucas. <laughs> wait, wait. Why are you so mad? What? Oh no, he's not mad. Okay. <laughs> I like hide. <laughs> I never thought I'd randomly see you in a place like this. He used to come here quite a bit last in the last game. Well, okay, Lucas. <laughs> what is this? Huh? That's an old one. Boundless? It was a lifestyle magazine, no longer in print. Because everything is online these days. Ugh. I know online saves space, but I like my physical goods, goddammit. Like magazines and shit. Man. What was the series about? It was a photo series I modeled for. A bit of an avant-garde shoot. They were originally set to be displayed in a time travel themed showcase. Alas, the exhibition fell through, so they were re-themed and put in the magazine instead. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Well, I mean, at least there's someone who really liked them. That's good. I like the little smile. Okay, are you gonna order? I'd love to see that. No, seriously though, I'd like to see that too. That'd be cool. <gasps> Show me! Ooh! Wait, that's hide? Oh wait, I can see the features. I see the little, the beauty mark. The, the hair, the, the little stripe. Nice! I really like the artwork in this game. It's so good. Oh, wow! You looked amazing, Mr. Hyde! Still do! Yes, you do! <laughs> of course! Oh, that is so cool! I, re I really like that outfit. I do like older style outfits, too. I mean, okay, Georgie, listen. You say, really, I can't tell? I understand that. Sometimes I get clothes and I want to, or I look at different fashion and I want to wear those clothes because man, that is really my style. But do you know what I wear, Georgie? Do you know what I wear? T-shirt, shorts, or jeans, or just sweats. That's it. You know why? It's easy and comfy. And sometimes I feel like I don't want to dress up or I want to dress up. I'm not doing anything. So what's the point of dressing up? So you can't tell, but they like it. And I like it. <laughs> hey, Kriya, what's up? How's it going? Six more days. Wait, hold on. I have to count. Oh, wait. Today's the sixth. I don't have to count. Of course. Yes. Six more days. So excited. <laughs> Dude, I haven't... Um, well, first, uh, hope you're doing well. I feel like I already said that. But yeah, so excited. Six more days. And I I haven't so I only watch I only watch like the initial announcement for it. Um like the first few couple trailer things that they showed, whatever, just to be like, hey, we're still working on the game. The Nintendo Direct one. After the Nintendo Direct, I've oh whoops. I've seen absolutely nothing unless I accidentally scrolled by something because I'm just like, listen, I want to go into the game now knowing nothing or like very close to nothing. <sighs> but yeah, I'm like, so I've seen little bits. Of course, I know Sidon's in there because whatever. I've seen, I've seen the 
what Ganon looks like because I had I, it was everywhere. I had no choice. Hey, Sleepy, what's up? Thanks for the raid. I really appreciate it. I don't know why I didn't hear that, but thank you. I just... <laughs> How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Nintendo sometimes gives little perks. Yeah, no, that's I replayed uh, Breath of the Wild to complete completely because like, um, one, I just needed to kind of like relearn all the shit, and two, I was just like, I I was just too excited for Tears of the Game Kingdom. I was just like, ah, so yeah, the thirst for Ganon is real. I know. Um, love this game. What night are you on? I'm on night five, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm on night five. Yes. Can't wait to play episode two. I'm loving it so far. The first game was so good too. So once I finished the first game and I saw this one was coming out, I was like, I need to get in it. I need to, I've been watching for this game to come out. Finally saw the release date and I was like, I need to get it right away. It's so fun. I love it so much. Hope you feel bonita because you're bonita. You're the most bonita. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Everyone's like just bringing good vibes today. Thank you. And I'll hydrate. Thank you, Lily. I really appreciate it. Can't blame them to be honest though. Yeah, no, he looks, Ganon looks really good. <laughs> but yeah, I've been really trying hard to avoid um, I know they're not technically spoilers because they were, like, released official, like, stuff, but, you know, nothing to do with their 30k points. I haven't put anything in here. I've just been, like, kind of busy, so. <laughs> um, so, oh, dear. Okay, so I've just been streaming, working, art, repeat, um. What, what else? Um, edit stuff. Yeah, so. <laughs> so I'm just keeping the thing simple. But anyway, let's continue. <laughs> Glad it helped. I didn't enjoy experiencing some of those times again, even if only in a garment form. Even if I was left with a melancholy feeling, all hide. But I digress. Hmm? Would you care to order anything? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, by the way, is pure matcha supposed to make you feel woozy? Uh, no. Pardon? I tried drinking some before lunch a couple days ago. I felt a tad nauseous. Maybe matcha's just not for you. Did you have breakfast? Well, okay, look at this. It's really strong tea, so it still shouldn't be consumed on an empty stomach. Ah, uh, you're learning. It's okay, Lucas, no worries. <laughs> we don't have pumpkin. <laughs> Sorry, we don't have that here. Oh, for real? We're not like... We don't... We don't... We <laughs> We're not Starbucks, kid. <laughs> Just don't want anything plain tonight. How about making me something based off pumpkin latte with what you have? Well, if we're having a pumpkin latte themed thing, then it must have cinnamon in it. But I, now I need a base... Um... Base... Drink, right? So let's see here. It's... A latte. Latte. 
Well, do I? Hmm. We don't have pumpkin, so this is the best I can do, I think. Do I need to give him anything? I don't think so. What am I going to do with this fidget spinner, though? Because I'm not going to give it to Riona. I guess I'll just keep it forever. <laughs> Here you go. A cinnamon latte, warm and sweet, just for you. Gonna lurk for now, don't want to spoil. Of course, Sleepy, that... Totally understand. Thanks for lurking though, I really appreciate it. Good call on the cinnamon. Dude, pumpkin if you're gonna have a pumpkin latte, cinnamon is necessary. It is the star spice of the season fall season after all. Oh, yeah, you're right. Like pumpkin lattes. Exactly. Wait, hold on. I need to check the notifications. It's gonna bother me if I don't. Oops. Cinnamon infused cafe latte that uplifts you with its warmly spiced aroma. I love cinnamon. Anything else? Self summary. On a short break to refresh and wreak havoc on return. Post your wrecks on my channel. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Lucas. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> Don't mention it. So how are you guys doing? Right, Lucas, you came in with an issue. Why do you need cheering up, kid? Oh, about that. Just, just the usual work stuff. A few disagreements here and there, you know. Any working team will eventually have them once or twice, right? He looks like he's saying he agrees, but huh. What do you do? <clears throat> Excuse me. Vlogger slash influencer. <laughs> I review a lot of lifestyle things like fashion, places, food, etc. on the social media. Sometimes I do skits and such on my channels too. Sounds fun. And pranks. Oh right, he was talking about the pranks last time. Good. It's only a prank if both sides are having fun. But even those can get a little out of hand, so don't be careful with those. <clears throat> I just think they're the lowest form of entertainment. Just cheap thrills at the expense of others. Yeah, no, exactly. Like, I mean, especially if you're doing it for a public clout, like, against a straight or to, like, a stranger. I don't really feel comfortable with that concept. Um... It's really just uh, it's a little distasteful. So, you're essentially the creator and the host of your show. What does your team do? My team helps me edit, secure sponsors, and massively boost the production quality. They're great! I owe them lots. Do you think you're doing well? I really do like the finger thing though. Like he has one like pointed up. <laughs> I currently reside in LA. For real, I did too before I moved here. Dude, I kind of want to move there too. Just because the rent is cheaper. <laughs> Why did you move? Why? Also, I like the raininess, but the weather. Nice and cool. Because I hated it there. Not to crap on where you live, sir. I just think LA is not for me. Dude, same. LA is fun to visit once in a while, but I could never live there. It's not a bad place, just not my style. No, Lucas, I actually do want to hear it. 
<laughs> but I won't push. You don't need to spill all your secrets to me. It's all good. I've been in noticing an influx of newcomers there. They're loud, young, brazen. Just like you. <laughs> the fact that you're able to make something of yourself out of such mundane nonsense. I'd say you're doing pretty well. That's a compliment. If it's from Hyde, then yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, no, that's... Maybe you need a break. to do a talent showcase segment you know so I could help elevate others like me oh that's so sweet though <sighs> but I, I feel like from what I remember in the first night the first uh, yeah the first night it was kind of like he came on too strong to a stranger that he doesn't really know Especially with someone like Riona, who seems a little closed off. Please explain. Okay, satyrs. When you hear about us, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> hmm. I don't know, you're just a cool dude with goat feet and horns. I like your ears, too. Seder is the first thing. Oh! You know what? That's fair. If you think about satyrs, they are seen in Greek mythology like that. Because I think... I don't remember correct 100%, so I might be wrong. But I think they work under, like... Dionysus so a lot of partying and drinking and <laughs> stuff like that so that's fair I see what he means in the same way society views Lady Riona as bad luck personified right cuz she's a banshee which is stupid I'm sure she sounds amazing immediate trust they have for those who have money compared to those who had to start from zero you know what I mean I mean I get it you know etiquette social cues cues kills oh my god <laughs> social cues and awareness that sort of thing what nurtures you when growing up reflects these things that's what most people like to assume anyways and like I get it nobody has time to learn about everybody so we go by impressions, but as someone who started from zero and now, the difference on how people treat me is so damn stark. So damn stark that it doesn't feel all that great, you know? Yeah, that does suck. It's like a person's gonna be like, oh, whatever, you're just a satyr, you have nothing, right? Like zero, as he was saying earlier, but now that he's good, they're like gonna flip their mind and be like, oh, actually, now that you're successful, let me try to cozy up and get close to you or be like, oh my god, look at this cool guy, like it's kind of bullshit. <clears throat> hmm, let me see. I wonder if they'll start with Riona then. What is the issue? My team thinks my segment idea is too risky. I mean, it is risky, but... I don't know. Don't fix what's not broken. I... God, I don't like his team. I mean, I get where the team is coming from, but... Why 
Well, no, I don't think so. Keeping it the way it was, but improving upon it will be the safer option because the viewers already have like, you already have an established audience and the viewers know what they want and you're making what they want. Um, so it is a safer option, but... Hmm. I'm not responsible only for myself. I've got a whole team depending on me now. That's why I'm trying to find a compromise. At least until we become so big that any slight change won't affect us as much. Ah, oh, Hyde always coming in with the hard questions though, ain't he? <laughs> Will the world wait for you to be ready? Have you ever asked yourself that? Hmm. You see, making choices is always a matter of priority. As you grow, your stake increases along with your responsibilities. As such, your excuses will continue to pile up. But, uh, given the pace at which you're going right now, I see your idealistic dream is unlikely to be realized. However, if it's enough for you to have good intentions, or have good intentions, well, that's another story. Though, you know what, I'd be inclined to like listen to Hyde a bit just because he has the experience. But the delivery is always... <laughs> I'm agreeing with Georgie a little blunt. Am I wrong though? It is a perspective. You know, one of many. I admit, I don't know much about the entertainment biz. But you've gone this far, boy. Because all along, you've been motivated by that specific goal in mind. Ain't that right? I guess in a way it's you won't see until you try. You won't know. Did my best today and I hope you did too. Oh, good Rachel. <laughs> Do you think I should have been gentler then? <laughs> nah. I needed the whipping. I feel like I feel like Hyde was talking to me a little bit too, because I have so many things I want to like bring up, but I'm just like meh. <laughs> Those words were hard to swallow, but I needed to hear them. Are you okay? Oh, so it's gonna be okay, Lucas. Are you sure you didn't really finish your drink, but? You can do it! I believe in you! <laughs> Alright, well, I've stayed too long already, so I better go do my work now. Don't want to get my pay docked, see? <laughs> I love these guys. Be safe out there, officer. Will do. Be safe. Bye. Oh, now everyone's leaving. I suppose I should leave as well. I'll be back before long, though. Please do. You're always welcome. Hmm. What? Wait, what's wrong? Is there something wrong? Oh no! No! Georgie! No! You're lighter! God damn it! <laughs> oh dear. I just gave it back to you though, Georgie! Oh, what's a cuss? Oh no, you're right. I'll keep it for him. Thank you. Alright then. Have a good evening yourself. Safe trip out there, Mr. Hyde. Goodbye. Oh. Russian tea. Despite the name, it's totally it's a totally American drink. <laughs> I wonder where the name came from then. Alright, what's on the news this time? 
that looks like Gala. Inumimi. Oh. I didn't know they were- oh, well, that makes sense. Inumimi and werewolves may share common ancestry, archaeologists say. Lionfish invasion decrease a successful trial? I don't- so there was- in the news, there was a lionfish, uh, invasion decrease, uh, thing that they were doing. They put, like, toxic algae in the water so they would kill off the invasion of uh, lionfish, but then I was like, but what if it harms other creatures? Because algae doesn't only affect lionfish. That doesn't make sense. So I don't know if that's uh, quite the right way to go. Countries to block foreign entry amidst unknown livestock bacterial infection. Hmm. Inumimi. <clears throat> Hold on. There's something- wait, what? Hold on. The fidget spinner's gone! There's something missing from the drawer. Did I misplace it? Oh no, where'd it go? I mean, we don't really need it, but... <gasps> Baileys! Well, we'll be seeing Baileys today, I think. It's sometimes scary how so many th um, things come into factor as you make a decision. It shouldn't be that hard, right? I have tons to think about every day. Oh, Lucas. Okay, well. I could really use a good cup of tea right now. Yes. Bad traffic at Yale Street. Avoid. <laughs> Looks like bad weather again tonight. It is thundering so much in this game. Let's hope it doesn't bring bad tidings. Georgie... I don't know. I think it's a very nice color scheme. Well, I think it's lacking something. <gasps> they came together! Cute! It's too dainty. Dainty? What would you like then? Red? Black? Purple? That wouldn't be the worst. <laughs> Are you talking about your wedding? Okay then, why not? But you have to commit to it. No take backs this time. Be <sighs> I don't know. Oh my god, no! Maybe. <laughs> Oh dear, is wedding planning tough, guys? Oh no. <laughs> well, I wish you the best. Oh no, guys, don't run! How are we supposed to plan this wedding if we keep postponing every choice we need to make? I mean, Louis, he's not wrong, but, like, I think the last time we talked, she was like, I can't choose because all these people are doing something original, but we don't have the budget, and I don't know if, because if I do a wedding like this, it won't be original, and I thought, you know, it doesn't have to be original. If you want, like, a very basic wedding, or if you want it to be, like, what everyone else is doing, as long as it's what you want, right? If that's the kind of wedding you want, and if that's what's gonna make you happy, truly happy with the wedding, then you should do it and not worry about how original your wedding's gonna be compared to someone else's. That's, I, You know, like, if that's what you want and you want to make it original, then yes, do that. But if that's gonna just stress you out and you don't want to do that and you're just doing that because the internet's telling you, like, your thing needs to be original, and I, I don't know. Just do what makes you happy, but... If you keep overthinking it, I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> I mean, I don't really have a right to say I am overthinking things constantly, but, you know, it's it's like, is it gonna make you happy? <laughs> Pale green, lilac, and daffodil yellow, or red, black, and purple. For a wedding, I would prefer these softer colors. No, it's quite alright, it's just that... 
I wouldn't know. This is your wedding. Your opinions matter, not mine. <laughs> Stop looking at me like that, though. Baileys? Trouble is, we don't know what our opinions are. And when we think we do, we change our mind. It's like the centerpieces. Oh, please. Can we not talk about that now? I really thought we agreed on the cute cottagecore ones. <laughs> Oh no. Oh dear. Or find one similar, but that's cheaper. This is this is I, I don't know if I want to get in between this at all. Oh no <laughs> That is not the that's not the issue. If I invite one of them, I have to invite them all. You do not have to invite anyone you do not want to invite. I don't give a shit if it hurts their feelings. If you don't want to invite them, don't invite them. This is not about them, this is about you. Don't matter. It's like a domino effect. Besides, they'll be paying for part of the wedding. I still don't think they should. I can pull my own, my weight. If we have to choose, I'd rather we have the beautiful things you like. Even if it means we have fewer guests. Well, if my family's not chipping in, we might not be able to afford either. Thanks for the vote of confidence. I don't want our wedding to be just a random meal. With a bunch of people we're not even that close to. And I said I'll make sure we can afford a damn wedding. A dream, a dream wedding. Not a damn wedding. Whoops. <laughs> oh my god. No, this is... Saved by the bell. <sighs> Christ. Just... What do you guys want? See ya, Lua. Oh, wait. No, never mind. Okay, what do you want? It says something that will keep you awake. Still have work to do and your head hurts. Caffeine is not the way to go though for that. Oh dear. Okay, so. So you need a coffee. So strong coffee. So two coffee. I could do this, but now we need that kick. So if she wants a spice, then I would say cinnamon. But if you really want that punch in there, then I would say ginger. Though ginger does add some spice too. It's like the same thing. Or not, it's not the same thing, but warm and sweet, just warm and bitter. Uh, let's see. <laughs> they look like pine seeds, pine nuts. Do I have anything I need to give you? I don't think so. It is a special drink, so it should work. Good. Oh, good. Do you want anything, Baileys? I can feel myself relaxing already. <clears throat> oh, he looks so worried. <laughs> What? You're weird. <laughs> that thing doesn't smell relaxing to me at all. It's a difference in taste. You're weird. Oh, 
I'm glad they're doing good though. Ooh, who came in? Hello? I'm glad they're having a good time though. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, hide. My lovely weirdo. Oh my god, they're so cute. <laughs> the side eye though. This is so much better. It really is. Hi, do you... <laughs> Have I mentioned I love your smile? Never enough. Hyde's <laughs> like, maybe I should leave. <laughs> Ugh, disgusting. I'm going to need something really spicy to wash this down. <laughs> if Bailey doesn't want to order, that is. <laughs> Hyde, sorry, I didn't hear you come in. Yeah, I know. You were too busy doing... Whatever you were doing. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Alright, so what would you like? Spicy is the name of the game. So what would you like? Just make sure it's got a spicy kick, something. Okay. So last time we made like a hibiscus drink and it didn't work out. But we also didn't have gingers. I'm assuming ginger was the key that we needed. So he wants something really spicy. It needs the kick. Sorry, I accidentally moved the thing. So I'm going to stick with the hibiscus that I did made him last time. But instead... Oh, and then double it, so two of the same, I'm guessing. Because we didn't have ginger yesterday, in the night before, so let's try that. Zobo. Oh! Because um, I was wondering what I needed to give him. I could give him this, apparently. Because I, I got the achievement that was like, oh, you missed a, a thing. Like, you were supposed to give this to the guy. And I was like, no, what did I miss? So, apparently, I can give that to Hyde. Um, but I don't want to fuck it up. Because I feel like I should give it to Gala. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Uh, I'll just give it to Gala, because he lost it. Here you go. Bloodish Red. Achievement. I fell up for a challenge, so... Try this. If you don't like hibiscus in this, you never will. Hmm. Let's see if you crack the hide code. <laughs> Please. Do you like it? You likey? Well, no, don't, don't look at me like that. Do you like it or not? Well? Oh, oh why? <laughs> you can't see that. This is kind of troublesome, Yuri. You know me a little too well. Oh, thank God. <laughs> uh, so, I take it this works for you. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, good. I'm glad you like it. So, you knew I couldn't get it right last time. <laughs> Forgive an old man his old man jokes. Anyhow, this is the only acceptable way to drink hibiscus. I used to have a friend in Lagos who made me Zobo like this every time I visited. She lived near the harbor. Well, Lag- yeah. We would sit down and drink it and watch the boats float by. Oh. Wait, three? Oh, Lua's got updated. I can't read any of that, Lou. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hmm. 
old enough. <laughs> Ginger presides over the ground coffee at the bottom of the cup, originally from Indonesia. And then this one. A traditional Nigerian drink with an invigorating ginger kick, supported by cloves and pineapples. I really like these little um, descriptions. They're so cute. Hey, Volata, what's up? How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Busy, but gonna be a little creeper here in your chat. No problem. Thanks for lurking. I really appreciate it. Totally understand. But thanks so much. <laughs> Glad to hear from everyone. <laughs> that sounds lovely. She was a good friend. She isn't anymore. I think it's been a long time. <laughs> when you've got vampire life, a vampire's lifespan, friends come and go. That's what I expected to hear. That's sad. You get used to it. Isn't this where you say something about uh, enjoying each moment even more? Or grief being the price you pay for love? <laughs> I guess when you live like a vampire for that long, that's all you can really do, huh? <clears throat> oh, voice. <laughs> Anyway, speaking of enjoying the moment, your family troubles have sorted themselves out, yes? Still on the marriage track? Please. Yes. I'm glad things are working out between you two. That makes me very happy. Dad just found a missing photo album of my childhood and I can see I can only wish you can see how cute I am as a kitten. Oh, I want to see. I want to see. That sounds so cute. Suitably entertaining. Great. Uh, that's one way of putting it. <laughs> Can't wait to be at the marriage stage of it, to be honest. That's fair. I mean, at that point, the wedding is... I mean, it's a big day. It's important. I'm not putting it, making it sound any less than it is. It's just, like, after that... Is the exciting part, right? Lua, you know he doesn't mean it that way. Here they go again. <laughs> Good to see that some things don't change. <laughs> and such a dramatic backdrop too. <laughs> he should start serving popcorn you time. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> oh no. I'd be more enthusiastic if we didn't fight about it every single time. Lua. Alright. Oh, you look so sad. Oh, right. He didn't even order yet. What would you like? Bye, Lua. Take care. I forgot he didn't even order. <laughs> oh, dear. Hope things are okay. What can I make for you, ma uh, Mr. Bailey's? What would you like, dude? Something warm, sweet, and comforting. Got it. A hot chocolate, perhaps? Chocolate, honey, and milk. Ch choc. Honey, milk. That's the order you said to me, so I'm gonna try it, and I hope it's fine. Choco be me to good. That's such a cute name. Oh my god, I love that name. Now, oh my god, that's so cute. 
Here we go, a Choco Bee Miruku for you. Perfect. Is it good? Is it good? Yes! This feels so good, Yuri. It means a lot that you're always looking out. You're always looking out for all of us. On a miserable night like this, it's heartwarming. Oh, that's so sweet. But of course, you're our valued customers. I feel like I've said this before, but I really wish there was a place like this that existed in my area. Um, or not in my area, because I don't know how safe, but like if it was a safer neighbor, a super safe neighborhood or something, then I would love a place like this. Just nice, chill, you know, nice vibe, have a good drink, some tea or something, and get some work done or just relax and read. I don't know, but it'd be really nice if something like this existed. I hope Lua didn't get too soaked. <laughs> you do care a lot about her. Of course I do. Aww. Then why all the fighting? <laughs> this wedding is bringing out the worst in us. Since we sorted out the situation with my family. <sighs> right, he did cut his family off. I can't imagine how stressful wedding planning must be, though. Every time we try to organize this thing, it's like we become different people. Oh, Hyde, coming back in with the hard questions, I'm guessing. What do you want from this wedding? Uh, how do you mean? It's not complicated. Just asking what you want. That finger thing. God, I feel that. Like, I... <laughs> when I get agitated, I start, like, picking at my fingers like that, too. August 10th, your birthday's a day after mine! <laughs> if you close your eyes and picture the day, what do you see? Honestly, I have no clue. I know Lou is there. And, but that's about it. That's not a bad start, in truth. But if you don't have specific expectations, why don't you just let her do what she wants? Okay, now here's the issue, Hyde. You know what Lua is like. You can say, oh, this is what you want, but then she'll be like, oh, but I want you to put your input on what you want. You know, and then you'll be like, I don't really know what I want. I want what you want. It becomes complicated. I want her to have what she wants. Oh, also because it's so expensive, she's holding back on what she wants too, and that's an issue as well. Um, because he wants her to get have what she wants, you know? Like, she wants that cottagecore centerpiece or something, or she wanted the... whatever other, whatever other stuff she's probably put down and decided not to get because of the price. And I... I <laughs> it's complicated. That's exactly what I've been trying to achieve. I've been picking up on everything she's liking on Tomoda Chill. Every wedding picture she's pinning online. <clears throat> Excuse me. All the places she finds cool, all the fashion designers she follows. She deserves to have all that, to have a special day. But every time I make a suggestion, she won't hear of it. She says it's too much, too expensive, too this, too that. I wanted to have I don't want her to have a shabby wedding. Just because I'm estranged from my family. I want her to have what she wants, what she deserves. A proper princess wedding. What if she doesn't want a princess wedding? <laughs> you are a remarkably presumptuous young man. Mr. Hyde. No, that's alright. I know Hyde helped Lua back in the day. 
If he's got something to say, I want to hear it. <laughs> oh, Hyde, we gotta love you a little bit. Good, because I'm not. I'm going to. I was going. Blah, blah, blah. Good, because I was going to say it whether you like it or not. Oh dear, here we go. You're sitting here going on about everything Lua would want. As if you could know what is so someone else, what's in someone else's heart. Even when you love someone. No, especially when you love someone. You should never presume to know what they need. Lua is the only one who can tell what Lua wants. I think he's looking too much into what she's looking at on the internet instead of just asking her, Hey, is there something you prefer? Which one do you want, right? If I'm reading into this correctly. And you don't need to rush it. I see, yep. Hi, you're good. Well then, so be it. You don't need to get married now. <laughs> there we go! If you reach old age and you're still together, married or not, I think that counts as a win. That's so cute. And since we're... Sorry, I had to wipe my eyes for a sec. And since we're talking about taking some time, you should also use that time to figure out what you want. Otherwise, the best you'll get is a wedding, based on your skewed idea of what Lua's wedding should be. It's... what Something I don't understand with weddings is when... Uh, I mean, in this case, is a little different, but people are like, Oh, it's my special day, it's my wedding, it has to be the way I want it, and I agree. But a wedding is for two people, not one. So... It's about both, not just you who, are, you know? So, I, I don't... I like when the Hyde is saying to Bailey, is like, you should think about what you want too, instead of just what you think Lua wants. Because Lua, whatever Lua wants, she'll figure out in her own time. But think about what you want in the wedding, and then kind of make some decisions together and figure out what you want both for your wedding. Because it's your shared day. It's not just her day, it's not just your day, it's both of yours days. Both of you are getting w married, not just one person, you know what I mean? So I just don't get when people are like, my day! Only about me. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. It's about both of you. I have some opinions on that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That sounds pretty sad to me. Oh. It'll work out, guys. I'm sure it will. Well, that wasn't pleasant to hear. Bailey's. Oh. But it also wasn't wrong. Give it time and figure out what I want, huh? Maybe take a break about... Take a break from talking about your wedding a little bit. Like, don't not talk about it completely because, like, it's your wedding. But... You know, maybe just talk about your excitement. I can't wait. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Don't take advice from me, but still. <laughs> Should have thought about that before, I guess. You're not bad at this tough love thing, are you, Hyde? <laughs> so cool. I love Hyde. Perhaps I should consider a career in couples counseling. I, I don't know if you should do that, Hyde. <laughs> Modeling gets old after a while. I thought you were having a good time in LA. He's moving here. I was, until I wasn't. I'm moving to Seattle, in fact. I get my contract with the agency, just in case. But there aren't many modeling jobs to be had here. Huh. Go back to my mafia dwarf buddies, of course. Hide. No. 
I'm sure it's a joke, but please. <laughs> Are you though? <laughs> There's a little speck right here and it's bothering me. I don't want it there. I don't know if you can see, but so the color of these blue lines, these are fine, but there's one pixel right here. That's this color here. And it's really, uh, I need to, I want to get rid of it. <laughs> oh, well, it'll be there for a while, I guess. Oh, there's a dark one here too. God damn it. Okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. I wouldn't go back to to them. I'd go back to be chased by them. Oh dear. Besides, I checked in on them and everyone I used to find entertaining has retired now. Meanwhile, their grandkids manage the whole enterprise. Like it's some sort of startup. <laughs> I don't know, Baileys. I don't know. That's for me to know, and for you to wonder about. Thanks, Hyde. <laughs> Bailey's looks so concerned right now. <laughs> Mr. Hyde likes to play a little. That's it. <sighs> I would be teased relentlessly. You young people. <laughs> impatient in business like you're impatient in love. If efficiency isn't everything. Tell that to my brain, Hyde. I have all the time in the world. I don't care if things are done fast. I want them done right. Maybe you should go into slow fashion. Or fine arts if you paint with oils. That'll take some t proper time. And I, I doubt the fumes would kill you. Fine arts were the first thing I got good at a few centuries ago. But my style isn't trendy nowadays. Too much chiar... I forgot how to pronounce that. Chiaroscuro. Lighting. And putting blue in to skin tones isn't novel anymore. Chiaroscuro. It's like a shading of light to dark. I think. I don't remember the exact terminology, but... Or the exact definition, but if I looked at it, I'd probably be able to identify it. No, 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 he's not Rembrandt. <laughs> Cute. Hold on. Okay. But for all that you don't sugarcoat your advice, you're a pretty good listener. <laughs> I hope you also have people who listen to you. I mean, he has Gala. I'm moving here to be closer to them. Oh, this is so cute! Gala? Is it Gala? Come on. What was that? Oh, nothing. <clears throat> I believe your phone's ringing. Wow, how long have we been in here, Lewis, done with work? Holy shit. In a, in a hurry to leave here, Mr. Baileys? <laughs> no, not at all. But I am looking forward to going home. And keeping bickering. <laughs> well, I'm glad I helped somehow. Yes, just let it rest for a little bit. Good elf. <laughs> Enjoy your night. <laughs> Aw, this was a really sweet time. Of course. Oh, of course. <laughs> Have a good night, Mr. Baileys. Um, Mr. Hyde. What was that about the Mafia and modeling and fine arts? Are you genuinely considering a career change? <sighs> All I'm considering right now is whether my car got nicked. 
I know old man Georgie said this area is safe, and it's a bit of a pile of junk, but it's a pile of junk with sentimental value. It's probably really old. I sense a story. It's quite a story indeed, but I'll make it short because it's getting pretty late. I got this card many moons ago, back when Gala was my bodyguard. Oh, that's a long time ago. I think 60 something years? 60 years? There's no way I could have a night out in the middle of a big job, not on his watch. So you slept his watch. <laughs> so funny. Some friends and I, we decided to get together. I was to provide the bride, they provided the entertainment. I did the usual thing, I waited until Gala was sound asleep. Then I left a pile of pillows under the duvet, hide shaped. <laughs> and I snuck out of the hotel room. There was only one problem. Gala was my chauffeur as well. Oh no, you couldn't drive? Oh, he had your car keys. I see. And I wasn't about to poke the bear wolf. So I went to the nearest dealership and got the cheapest car I could find. You bought a car to sneak out. Oh my god. I'll spare you the details, but my friends and I, we drove to a lovely spot with a view for the sort of action which I admit might appear ambiguous from the outside, but to me was very enjoyable indeed. We were right in the thick of it when so oh no, what were they doing? <laughs> oh, they were having uh, fun. Let me guess, that was Gala. The wolf himself. He peers inside, then he starts banging on the door so hard the whole car is shaking. We all kind just kind of freeze, and then he says, How dare you kidnap Mr. Hyde! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, right in the- <laughs> Caught in the act and mistaken as kidnapped. Opens the door and tosses my dates outside. <laughs> oh yep, they were really going at it. Okay, good, good. <laughs> Mr. Hyde. You're not winding me up, are you? Wow, you had a very eventful time then. <laughs> God, I love this guy. He's so funny. Sorry, it still sends me into a fit just thinking about it. He princess carried me out of the car, if you can believe that. <laughs> oh my God. I didn't even have the chance to explain the situation. At least not until he removed my gag. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, hide! <laughs> Gal acted like he was angry, but in reality he was mortified. <laughs> if not as mortified as my dates, whom I had to pick out of the grass. Oh, poor Gala indeed. Yuri, I see where your allegiance lies. <laughs> Personally, I say, poor me. <laughs> I never saw those lovely friends again after that fiasco. But I couldn't be angry at Gala even then. In fact, I found this chivalry rather charming. He didn't seem to find my antics quite as charming, though. He had woken up, hadn't found me, and was already suspecting the worst. And that was before he discovered me in a strange car in the middle of nowhere. In a compromising position. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I think he was truly terrified on my account. So he stopped talking to me for a few weeks. That doesn't sound unfair. <laughs> oh my god, okay. That's fair. The worst of it is, if you can believe it, <clears throat> I decided as a grand gesture to chauffeur him around in it. <laughs> he stopped soaking really quickly after that. I suspect he wasn't a huge fan of my driving. <laughs> God, I love his story. 
Oh, that's so funny. Well, if it has sentimental value, it's hard to give up, huh? But I guess I've grown fond of it by now. We're both a little stuck in time, this car and I. Oh, that's cute, though. You're rather more sentimental than I thought, Mr. Hyde. That's what you took away from that story. Yeah, I mean, other than that you, you know. But I suppose you're right. Good thing it's only us here. I can plausibly deny this conversation ever took place. That's true. Still, the rain has stopped, and this is my key. And this is my cue to go. Before I lose all my remaining cred. <laughs> I hope the car is safe and sound. So do I. And Yuri? Huh. What? Yes? What? Nah, nothing. Have a good night. Um, good night, Mr. Hyde. Weird. I wonder what he wanted to talk about. And a safe journey home. Weird. Weird. Right. This is day... Uh, what day is this for the game? Seven? I think it's seven. <laughs> yeah, I think it's seven. Okay. Alright, let's continue. Monday, September 25th, 2023. <clears throat> Alright, first wave of visa applications to Europe rejected for failure to include passport signatures. What? The rise and fall of Weirdstein box offices, a brief history, and sold out replica astronaut suits experience an extreme increase in sales. Oh. <laughs> that might have something to do with the alien family that we have here. Um, maybe. Oh, there have been power hiccups? Oh no! Actually, first, before we start the day, we gotta look through our social media. <laughs> um, anyone new? Okay. Does everything happen f happen for a reason or nah? Hmm. I wonder how everyone's doing. Kimono pods. <laughs> Cute! Trucker fell asleep and crashed near the 4th Avenue. No casualties, but quite the property damage. I'd reckon you want to avoid the area for the moment. Thank you, Georgie, for keeping us posted. Road construction on Leonora Avenue. Thank you, Riona, for keeping us posted. Such good friends. <laughs> Alright. I hope the power hiccups didn't affect the machine too much. This is very- this is a very slow start. Are they working fine? Ah, uh, here we go. Right in the nick of time. Who is it? Gala? No! <gasps> Silver! Hold on. Sorry, I need to sneeze. Okay. Welcome you two, and Amanda! It's a relief to see you safe and sound. Hi, Yuri. Yes, we are also very relieved. It was a little scary last time. We analyzed the events of the evening, and we found them 31.245% frightening and 68.755% distasteful. Leaving in such a hurry is not an experience we care to repeat. Well, you would... It, it was for the best you left at that time. Agent came in and it was not good. Hopefully, this will be a quieter evening. <sighs> I hope so. I don't want that guy coming back in a cafe again. Uh, 
<laughs> Cute. Good evening. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that is interesting. I didn't really think about it that way. Is this assuming that you never start an encounter at night? Because that theory would appear to be empirically wrong. For example, this is the second time we meet, Earth Child. <laughs> Earth Child. And both times have been at night. For 100%, or our 100% sample does not bear out the aff aforementioned premise. But additionally, the very concept of evening and morning seem only marginally. Okay, did I. <laughs> Uh, Amanda. Oh, he's doing the finger thing! <laughs> I think Yuri tried to interject a couple times. Forgive me if I'm mistaken. Uh, no, it's alright. I didn't have anything important to say. The truth is, I'm not sure why our greetings have a... How do I pronounce that? Cir circadian? Circadian. Okay. Circadian. Got it. Hearthlings are creatures of habit, I suppose. They get attached to certain ways of using language, and often don't question the actual meaning of words. Hmm. At least in this particular case, no one's getting hurt. Since I arrived here, I've observed that some thoughtless use of language can have a much more painful effect. Yeah, uh, watch your words. Indeed. <laughs> we see and we agree. And we apologize for interrupting you. Oh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Have been in a somewhat heightened mental state. We have been finding Earth quite curious. Extraordinary, even. We are keen to absorb as much information as we can during our visit here. It seems to us our siblings who previously visited Earth came back with findings of a rather superficial nature. We are excited to gather data that will advance the science of Earth studies. Our return to the Hive will be triumphal! <laughs> Ahem. Of course, we do not do such things for the glory. But still, we are looking forward to seeing our work recognized. <laughs> Amanda's so cute. So are you a scholar, Miss Amanda? Oh, cool. Okay. So Silver came to the planet to have children, <laughs> find love, and you came to study. Good. That sounds very impressive. Alright. Silver is an explorer and an adventurer, and he is deserving of respect. Oh, they're so sweet! And his mission is to, to find a prospective partner is of the mo utmost importance. Still prospective, huh? No progress on that front, I take it? I know you're successful because it's been hinted that we are his child, but I still don't know 100% how that's working. Well, we'll see. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't quite say that. <gasps> Wait! Did you f- Huh? Very intriguing. <gasps> You're always so professional, Yuri. You rarely ask direct questions. But, I think you're a little curious about the gossip, right? Of, co of course I am. Yes. <laughs> I love their gestures. They're so fun. So it's like data on individual beings, then? Uh, yes, that sounds right. We love gossip. What is wrong with it? Nothing at all. I would love to listen to yours. But let me at least make you a drink first. Alright. Are you ready to order, Silver? What would you like? 
You're a barista yourself now, after all. <gasps> right, because you opened a cafe. <laughs> I love that. Oh, you mean the cafe. <laughs> yes, you mentioned you were opening one, didn't you? <clears throat> Excuse me. I am, after a fashion. But I'm not focusing on drink menus just yet. Also intriguing. Complicated, okay. Alright. Something simple. The first drink you ordered? I don't fucking remember. <laughs> Wasn't it a coffee-based drink? Very bitter and tart. Okay. A bitter and tart coffee drink. Well, I have some trashing I can do uh like five yes it's fine this looks like a tentacle also i thought about it i could probably give this to him because it's alien related <laughs> the i don't is I wonder if there's like an issue if I give them the wrong thing. Hmm. Now take it, take it, take it. Fuck that guy. Take it, Master Perloiner. <laughs> What is... I got it off the agent last time he was here. This is quite something. Thank you. Truly. Yes. Fuck that guy. A perfectly if unlikely combination of sour and bitter. Nothing. <laughs> you can't know how much it helps, but it really does. Don't mention it. We protect our family. Alien family. I thought, you know, maybe you'd find a way to put it to good use. I'm sure I can figure something out. You seem to have grown quite creative over the months. <laughs> I want a sweater. It looks comfy. Here's a black lemon for you, Silver. Here you go. You like it? Very minimal yet strong. Very enjoyable. I think I prefer sweeter things, but I'm glad I tried this one. Well, at lo as long as it was the right drink, I'm happy that you like it. You know, I second what what I blah blah blah. You know, I second what Miss Amanda said last time. You feel the same in some ways, yet also very different. <laughs> I I want to make like an animation with the finger the the, the 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 cute anyway whatever it's okay I do think that everyone keeps changing all the time maybe we feel like our personalities make sense because we see ourselves in hindsight when the truth is we make ourselves up as we go along oh. this see this is so cute I love this. You used to be a rather youthful and innocent part of the hive. Uh, well, I had to learn and adapt here. It has been a couple years after all. So cute. But despite all that, and considering that... I was considering what I said about the people changing all the time. I don't think I have changed all that much. In fact, it's as if I've been becoming a little more... Me every day. Just revealing myself. I like that. That's so cute. I want to know how they can change their appearance. No 
random generation algorithm? They can do that? Oh, that's sweet. Felt true to who he was. <laughs> when I first started coming to this cafe, I had a hard time understanding this world and its rules. But there were already some things that I could relate to. Some things that felt familiar, like Hyde's eyes, that always see beyond the surface. Or Gala's outfit, which is a sign of kindness and trust. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold up. Okay, I kind of see it. I brought these traits from them without even realizing. You look... Or you took inspiration from them? Or you took inspiration from them? Yes, our species seems to have the ability to do that. But, Gala's fashion I couldn't keep after all. It came with responsibilities, like a job. People stopped me all the time to ask me for medical advice. <laughs> I can see how that would be problematic. Oh my god, it is Star Trek. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> yes, but then I found this fictional universe where all the stories take place in the stars. So I changed my outfit to imitate theirs. And at some point, it all came together. That's so cute. I knew it. One morning, I saw myself in the mirror, and I felt... right? Like, the way I looked matched who I was. Oh, that's so sweet. It made me feel at peace. That would be- that's like the best thing, though. Like, I feel like it would be great if everyone just looked in the mirror and was like, Yep, this is me, and I feel right like this, you know? Because a lot of people, I mean, me included, I'm sure, they're, like, everyone, a little bit, looks in the mirror and they're like, there's something weird about this, like, it just doesn't feel right, you know? I like this. So although I look different from, na from now, from when I, we first met, and although I have learned the ways of this world a bit and have grown a bit, in many ways I still feel the same. Different but same, ah! It makes sense to us. It really does. Ooh. Bzz, 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 bzz. <gasps> Laurel. Laurel? Laurel? Pearl? How many people are you talking to? Mitch? Phantoming you. You mean ghosting? <laughs> Do you mean ghosting? You think you hear a sound, but your ears are merely playing a trick on you. We thought we had established a hive connection with Midge, but it was only a phantom sound after all. Anyhow, what is Pearl saying? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, silver! It sounds like things are going very well indeed. I think it may be time to tell you a little bit about this. But we wish to order a drink as well. Oh, uh, of course. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I mean, yes, I'll get you your drink and I want you to enjoy yourself. But no, I want the deeds. What? Oh, no. I'm sorry, Amanda. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Alright, let's hear it. <laughs> I've been relying on Amanda to help me with the online part of online dating. And it's been a, it's been working really well. On average. There have also been some small issues. Earth things are strange. Online dating has a reputation for emphasizing that, yes. Some earthlings express their interest, but when you say hello, they never answer back. Oh. 
while in real life saying hello is a starter for 99.845% of conversations. Seems that online more humorous or breeding oriented openers are favored. <laughs> However, if an opener to entirely, is entirely horned, it is considered out of bounds and angrily dismissed. Horned? <laughs> yeah, don't do that. People do that? Barista? Oh yes. I think it would be fine after a bit of conversation. If we get into the mood and they ask me first, I'd probably say yes. Horns can be really pretty, you know. Horns. <laughs> yeah, blacklisted. What? Funny for you, ninety nine point nine zero eight percent of the time. Uh, maybe it's they maybe they don't find it funny. Maybe they found it in oh, oh no, things are falling. Hold on. Very sorry. Um maybe they just found those jokes in poor taste. I don't know. Fortunately, online dating is governed by the law of large numbers, which favors persistence. We are patient. <laughs> Amanda, you're great too. Amanda has been spending a lot of time on the app, and it's starting to started to work out. I'm now having conversations with some really nice people, especially Pearl. Oh, we prefer. <laughs> it's not your life, Amanda. <laughs> now, now. Symmetry isn't everything. It's just. She sounds like a really good person. She's a communications director for a charity that fights homelessness. Oh, She cares about other people a lot. I don't think she's been very lucky in return. But she's very funny and curious of everything. And her smile- Oh, silver! <laughs> we can hear sensor hormones boiling! Oh my god! <laughs> And she's the person you might be getting a date with? I really hope so. Is it Pearl? No? Oh no, what? Silver? But a man... Oh... oh. Oh, maybe it was a phone call. He'll come back, don't worry. So I take it you've been enjoying your time on Earth, Miss Amanda? Huh, or not? No, we have been enjoying it, but we also see the limits of it. We, ha we are a hive mind. A hive mind knows no boundaries or limitations. We share all our thoughts and desires. It's not so di it's not difficult for us to connect. We are born connected. But earthlings are guarded. They have complex emotions. And they have no means of truly knowing what anyone else feels. That makes them afraid of judgment and of hurt. It must be very difficult and painful for them to connect deeply. Oh, you have no idea. There's so much they must let go of first. We will not live like that. Or we could not live like that. Okay. Well, you don't have to. You said that online networks were like a hive. Uh, I see. You don't think you could ever adapt the way Silver has. Silver is different. Even when he was a part of us, we could sense him looking outwards. That is why he has become such an amazing explorer. That is why he made the effort to learn Earthling's codes and behaviors. He did not just want to understand. He wanted to experience. We 
are not like him. We like to seek knowledge on what is different from us, but once we have that knowledge, we are satisfied. Uncovering it and bringing it back to what it makes us, or what makes us happy. Huh, this is curious. It seems we are picking up some earthling instincts after all. It is a good thing that our data readings are here should be soon be complete. Oh, so they're gonna leave soon, I see. Maybe. Is he back? Silver, are you okay? <gasps> no! So much for a quiet evening. Amanda, we have to go. What? Again? She didn't even get a drink. That call was bad news. The agent. Too late. Just hide behind the counter. Quick. Come on, Amanda. Get the fuck out of here. Good evening, Mr. Agent. It's just a customer, dude. We apologize, but our machine has been having issues. We cannot serve drinks at the moment. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, do you mean me? I'm sorry, but can't whatever this is wait for another night. I haven't finished my drink yet, and it looks like rain again outside. <laughs> oh, the ID card. Mm. An ID card? Not that I can recall. No. Well, I mean, we don't have it anymore in our possession, so... I certainly hope you're telling the truth. Mr. Agent, you seem to always doubt me, but you've been here several times already. Surely you should see by now that I'm not lying. Well, you're awfully good at avoiding straight answers, and losing an ID card sounds very troublesome. Back when I worked at a delivery center, they would make us pay a lot to replace lost ID cards. Ugh, that's not even the start of it. My job is a lot less forgiving than a delivery center. I'm very sorry to hear that. What's your job exactly? Extradite. What? Oh. Which is why I've been coming here in the first place. Well, fuck you. We keep getting tips that there have been alien sightings around this cafe. Who's snitching? Who is snitching about my alien family? <laughs> Darling, I could be behind your neck without you realizing it. What makes you think I actually need permission to enter a building? <laughs> Love you, Hyde. Nope. I can't say that I have. I don't come here all that often. Another one? Why are you threatening people on Tomodel <laughs> But it always seemed very above board to me. Are you sure the tips aren't a prank? It seems that some young people enjoy those as a pastime, and it's been happening a lot in my coffee shop. There are very popular videos of them online. That... maybe it is, but I still have to investigate properly. Otherwise, my superiors will have my head on the platter. But you can't waste your time on a cold trail, either. Surely your superiors will see that you've done your best. Okay. Well, they need to fuck off with the alien situation. What? But they're not really disturbing anyone, are they? They're just kind of chilling. I don't know. I'm kind of like my alien friends here. I see. 
Although the visible aliens aren't too bad from where I'm standing. At least we can identify and extract them. Aliens who try to pass for Earthlings are a bigger problem. Why? They're not doing anything. Then what does it fucking matter? That's... <laughs> would it? No, it wouldn't. Just let people live their fucking lives, dude. <sighs> nope. Nope. though what is it and I'm sorry if I'm being too curious I have a habit of putting my foot in my mouth okay in that case what is it that makes aliens so very different there are all sorts of people living here they all have different personalities different looks and for me when I walk around the streets of Seattle and I see that no two people are alike I'll admit that it makes me very happy so if someone comes from further away, but they feel an earthling at heart, would they really be more different from the people who live in this city? No! Then the people in the city th um, are different from each other? Or would they just be another version of an earthling? Perhaps no less beautiful. Aww. At the end of the day, who the heck knows? Uh, I guess this is a case of just doing his job. I still don't like it. Like it's upsetting. No reason. <laughs> I see. But despite everything you said, it's still unclear to me why the law is so stringent against aliens. It's not so much the law is stringent against them, it's more that there's no law for them. What? How do you mean? At this point, we have treaties and codes for all the races we know of, right? But we never made a treaty with aliens or anything resembling it. There's no law even acknowledging their existence. Oh, so that's what's going on. I don't think so. Silver doesn't look happy. Hmm. Uh, Alright. <laughs> and he has no idea he's speaking to an alien. No, shut up. Are you, are you threatening my cafe? My coffee shop? Amanda, shh. Nothing. Just the coffee machine. Seems never started now. Oh, that's a relief. Yep. Nope. <gasps> Cat! <gasps> yes! 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 Fuck him up! If I'm not mistaken, this is a local cat. It's coming over once. It's come over once before. Looks like it might be hiding from another stray. It's very cute. Good kitty. Meow. I think it likes you. What do you mean? What sort of place is this? What? Oh yeah, fuck off. Go away.
get out of here. Leave. Oh, that was stressful. I don't like that guy. Silver, you're trembling. <sighs> That's alright. You can come out now, I think, Amanda. Oh, Amanda. Are you okay? One hundred percent distasteful. Actually, <gasps> oh no! And exciting. <laughs> oh, she's experienced the thrill. <laughs> oh dear. I apologize. This is just nerves. We are truly sorry for this disturbance. Oh no. But should you be sticking around here? The agent might come back. I mean, I want you to keep coming over, but if it's your safety on the line, then... I don't know. No, I lured him away, at least for now. You... did? Although it's a good thing the little cat came in when it did. I thought... It bought us some precious minutes. It's a kitty cat. Oh, it's sleepy. Well, you can understand the cat. <laughs> we can feel this earthling's intent better than usual. It is expressing it clearly. It wishes to rest and be left alone. Cool. Oh, Silver, no. Poor guy. It is working. Oh, you can finally get your drink! Sweetness! Oh no, it's so cute! So, he wants... Very sweet, comforting drink. So... Very sweet. Yeah, that is, uh... 100% sweet. Honey chocolate is so... Sounds good, actually. Honey chocolate? I don't have anything else to give you, right? No. Here you go. Plenty of sweetness in this. You like it? <laughs> Alright, she drinks with the finger. Of course. It's the honey, probably. We like how different this experience is from the drink you served us the other night. I'm impressed though, Silver. You've become quite savvy at navigating these situations. <laughs> Even if I'm sure you'd rather avoid them altogether. Yeah, I, I can feel that. But I need to get used to them anyway. Why? The agent doesn't know you've come from outer space. Surely you should be off the hook for now. Oh dear. Are we getting more lore? You know the cafe I said I'm opening? Uh, yes. Well, it's not exactly like this cafe. In fact, it's not exactly a cafe at all. For the past few months, it's been the basis of operations. For save. Oh? Save Society for Aliens and Various Extraterrestrials. Terrestrials. Oh, cool. Wow. I know it sounds very reckless. No, it sounds rather admirable. I think I underestimated you. Oh, that's so cool. 
I see, yeah, I have a lot of people depending on me now. Those who are just arriving to Earth and are confused and scared. Those who have adopted Earthling appearances and are trying to blend in. Those who are learning how to understand life here and how to understand themselves. For all of them, it's an existential matter. Not everyone is meant to be a hive mind. Oh, I know I wasn't. <gasps> oh, dude, he's doing some good work though. Then. I like the sibling energy. You are our sibling, whether you live as the hive or as an earthling. Amanda, I, I, re ah! <laughs> I really do love you. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, I love this sibling. Oh, so good. That is not a conversation I think I can have right now. I'll explain it to you tomorrow, okay? After we both have a rest. We will remind you of it. <laughs> I know you will. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh yeah, you guys should head home. Oh, Silver, is there anything we can do to help? Oh, but I want to help. I want to help. I have a different part to play in all this. You're very kind. Well, in that case, have a good night, the two of you. And please, come again soon. You'll always be welcome here. Always. Us and many others. We know, and we're grateful. Good night. Oh, I'd say good night to the cat, but I don't think it needs my wishes. <laughs> good night, Amanda. Now we can use good night. All right, all right. <laughs> Bye, guys. Pixel there. What a night. This has been a great deal more animated than we bargained for. And I suppose we have a new four-legged friend now. I wonder what you're doing here, little one. Don't you have a home? Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up. Oh, you're so cute! Mew! Are you leaving? Mew! Oh, well. I guess it's time for you to let me close shop. Oh, it left. But, Silver... It's an honor to be related to someone like you. I knew it! Yes! We are related. We are half alien. I think I'm going to end the stream here, but let me get to this so I can save it. Because we did three nights today, I think. Whoa, what is this? Okay, I'm not going to worry about this too much. Okay, next time we'll be starting with the dot 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 here. Save the game. Okay, I saved. Yes. And then main menu. Alright, and then we are on day 26. So we are definitely going to have to look forward to that. Oh, so the cat does count as a customer. That's funny. <laughs> Okay, so we'll look forward to four customers for this day. Three. Wow, that's a lot on that day. But yeah, we'll have to look forward to this for next time. Uh, but yeah. Alright, I'm going to end the stream here. Thanks so much for stopping by, guys. I really appreciate it. I appreciate the raids and all the fun, the energy. It's... Oh, excuse me. It was really nice. Um, but yeah, thanks so much, guys. Really appreciate it. Hope everyone has a good rest of the day, night, evening, whatever time it is. Stay safe. 
Um, try to stay in as good health as you can. I know it's not always the way we want things to go, so, but hope everyone stays healthy. Um, and yeah, hope to see you guys again soon. Yeah. Thanks a bunch, guys. Good night. Bye.